Today, we're making New England hot dog buns. Your ingredients are flour, instant potato flakes, dried milk, sugar, buttermilk, salt, and instant yeast. This recipe can be made by hand or in a stand mixer. In a mixer, add two and two third cups of flour. From there, you're going to add one teaspoon of salt. three tablespoons of instant potato flakes, two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of dried milk powder, four and a half teaspoons of sugar, add three tablespoons of soft butter, Add one and a half teaspoons of yeast to your mixer. Add one cup of room temperature buttermilk. Now it's time to start mixing. You're going to mix slowly at first so that you don't get flour all over the place. Now these homemade hot dog buns are something special. Of course you're not going to make them every time you make hot dogs, but on a special occasion, maybe for the holidays, for this picnic season, when you have people over, this is something that you can really wow them with. New England hot dog buns are something that I had never heard of before, but they make these delicious soft hot dog buns and everybody is sure to be impressed if you serve them. So in order to know that my dough is ready to be mixed thoroughly, I need to make sure that I have added enough flour. And at this point, if I need to add more flour, I'm going to be adding it one tablespoon at a time. So I need to make sure that the dough has cleared the sides, it's not sticking to the sides, and it's not sticking to the bottom of my bowl anymore. If your dough is still sticking, add a tablespoon at a time until you get to the perfect consistency. And then you are going to knead this dough for five to eight minutes in your mixer. And if you're doing this by hand, you are going to knead at least 10 minutes. Now, I'm not a professional baker. I do just like to do this in my spare time. And one of the things that I'm really trying to do is make sure that I'm making more and more homemade foods and eating less processed foods. So this recipe gets me there. I did buy a pan to make these hot dogs a few years ago and they made them a couple of times and they came out really dense so I put the pan away and never went back to it but I found the perfect recipe here. This can be made in any pan you don't have to have this special hot dog pan it's just something that I bought a while ago and so I decided to use it but you can just lay the hot dog buns side by side in a 13 by 9 pan or an 11 by 7 pan just make sure that when you are rolling them out you are getting them to the right length. This recipe makes 10 very soft delicious hot dog buns they can be used for other things other than hot dogs but that's that's what I am using them for today. And here you can see I'm dividing my dough into 10 equal pieces. You are going to roll each one of those 10 pieces into individual rolls. You are going to cover them up and let them sit for five to 10 minutes to rest and relax. And then you will start to shape them into your hot dog buns. You might need to add a little bit of flour to this if they are a little too sticky like I did here. And also if they start to fight you and don't seem like they want to um, stretch out into the length, the proper length, just put them down for a minute or two and come back to them and continue working with them at that point. Whenever gluten is fighting you, just give your bread dough a breast and come back to it and let it relax and it will work out fine.
once you are done shaping these, you are going to cover them, let them sit for an hour, and at about the 45 minute mark, you are going to preheat that oven to 350 degrees, at which time when the hour is up, you will put them in the oven for 20 to 24 minutes. I used an egg wash on these so I could put some poppy seeds on it and I just like that shiny color. So if you want a shine on the top of yours, go ahead and put an egg wash on before you go ahead and put it in the oven. These came out super soft and they made great sandwiches. We had meatball sandwiches on in them the second night. So I hope that you will give them a try. These freeze really well so you can make them ahead of time. You don't have to worry about making them the day of your picnic or your event. Before you stick them in the freezer, go ahead and slice about three-fourths of the way through so that you can put your hot dogs in with ease. These were light, fluffy, and delicious. I hope that you will give them a try and consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Thank you for joining me here at White Shadow Fair.